All right. I'm gonna get this cover put back on. Um, right in here is where that is. Initially, I talked to Fred from Just Hogging, and he was telling me that maybe one of those ball bearings fell out, and I didn't see how that was possible. But now with it assembled and that, I see see that I guess it possibly could. I mean, that pretty be a pretty dumb design flaw if they could fall out of there. Um, but I guess it is possible. So, I have the new gasket somewhere all over here. All the apprehension is which way does it go on? This side here is actually like a valley. Um, this one's obviously flat as a pancake. So I don't know. I mean, it appears this could go on there either way, really. I don't see how it couldn't. Uh, and which way the flat side is supposed to go, and or the rounded side. <coughs> um, I'm gonna guess it really doesn't matter. Because eventually it's gonna get pancaked anyways. I think maybe they just do that so it seals or I, I don't know. I'm not going to waste time thinking about it. I'm going to put it on there and get her done. So, of course, now I ain't going to want to sit on there. say to use Loctite on these but it is a Harley it does vibrate so I am gonna put some on here. I'm just not sure what the viable time is getting them on there and torque down and all that stuff. Looked up the sport uh, looked up the torque spec which I'm now forgetting. I think it was 10 to 14. <coughs> so there's 10, I think, or is that 10? Sucks being blind. I'm going to say that's 10 because it just barely covers up the 10 mark and it's below the 20. That's 10 right there. That's 12, 13. I guess we're going to go with that. here. Just kind of wanting to see how to get these. Should have access with that. Kind of want to get everything lined up here so with putting this Loctite on these bolts 
get them in there, get them snugged down and then torqued to uh, specs before the Loctite dries. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six. That was the Titan sequence that the book states. <coughs> so. Alright, here we go. Whoa, okay. Didn't think that was quite as fluid as it was, but. Or somewhere. After um, I get this down and secure, where I can put the new clutch plates in. Uh, it says to soak them. I think it's at 15 minutes, up to 15 minutes. And uh, transfer fluid before. I had to drop something. <clears throat> well, it's amazing that that little tube there of Loctite, 10 or 12 bucks it was. Well, <clears throat> I don't know if that's what it is everywhere. But that's what it's at a Harley dealership, which probably is a little more expensive, but I was there, not sure where else I could get it, and I wasn't sure which one I should have been using on these bolts. Now, I don't know if I'm putting too much Loctite on there, not enough, but I'm going to go with some is better than none. So, <coughs> I, like I said, I have a lack of toolage issue and uh, I believe it's Musty One who uh, seems to find quite a bit of them at rummage sales. Uh, I know it's on Craigslist. There seems to be. This is Jerry from Big J's Garage signing off saying you can get it done if you don't let your meat loaf. <laughs>